Yes, guys, what's going on? Adam McCauley here. I am with Joe from Stretford Paddock, the man that has gone viral with me, by the way. Uh, Joe, United 1-0 today. Uh, we're not going viral still for our poor away form because we've got a win at last, first time since March. Well, I think, honestly, that's the most important thing. Like, people are... I've seen people slag us off for the performance. Obviously, it was a bad performance. We haven't had a good performance since Chelsea. Like, why would it be a good performance? But we've won an away match. Like I said, first time since March, first time since the PSG game. Like, I don't think we can be critical or concerned or annoyed at what has been something that's eluded us for six months. Like, we had to get the win. We've played a lot of players that don't normally get games or have been injured. Like, I think you need to give them a bit of credit for just getting the win. Right, and so seeing as everyone's been mad arsey today, let's try to grab some positives out of this. Yeah. What were the positives today? Brandon Williams was good again. As we, I think he's been pretty good, you know, anywhere from pretty good to excellent every time we've seen him play. Like, obviously, he won the penalty today. I think it's good just to see James Garner get in a game. Like, I don't think he was necessarily amazing, but he's been put in a midfield that has been poor all season, that doesn't make many chances, that isn't particularly good defensively. And I think he looked pretty good. Uh, just getting his just getting his full team, you know, his debut is a, a good thing for him. I think as much, I don't think Lingard played particularly well. I don't think Martial played particularly well. But just getting players back from injury, that's always a positive. Like, one of the biggest things that's sort of crippled us since the Chelsea game has been the succession of injuries, people not being able to play, people not being in the team. And getting a few of those back, even though it's not Pogba, which I think we've missed the most out of everyone, I think just getting them playing again, is you have to take that as a positive no matter how they played. Have to. Um, what did you make of, of Jimmy Garner in that midfield today? And Brandon Williams, in fact. Mm. Would you would would you think about starting them in the Premier League? Or? I w it depends who they're playing with. I think a holding two of... It's weird. We've sort of we've started playing this like five at the back, three at the back, depending on whether we're attacking or defending, seemingly out of nowhere, which is a strange one. But I think it does rely... It sort of bypasses that midfield a little bit, which has been our weakest position. I think it allows us to sort of go straight from playing the ball out from the back to we're on goal. No, not, not that we made many chances, to be fair, but we're sort of bypassing what is what has been a sort of stagnant, kind of boring midfield. You cut that out and play an extra defender and push those wings back, wing backs forward. I think that allows us to make some rotation in midfield. I think getting Garner in, I think he's obviously been one of the standout players for the under-23s this season. I think he'd be someone that you're definitely looking to get in the first team. I think Williams, we've already seen him in the first team. He looks as good as, he looks as, good as young, probably better than young. He looks, you know... He only, pro only probably. Well, I, I, I don't like criticising United players. Like, I don't think Young's particularly good anymore. I think he's too old. I don't think that's his fault. I think there's, there has to be a bad... I think criticism is fine. Yeah. I think yeah as I'm long not, as you're not abusing them. No, I'm not trying to criticise players and say they didn't play well, but I've got nothing against Ashley Young. I will analyse each performance as he plays it rather than just saying, I think yeah. he's terrible, he should never play for United again. But I think Brandon Williams is a better player than him. Although the truth might lie somewhere. <laughs> yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe he shouldn't play for us again. But I think, you know, we've seen from Brandon Williams, he's been better than Ashley Young. He's been as good as Shaw has been. He hasn't really been tested defensively because of the way Ollie's cherry-picked the games he's played in. But I think that's, that's, he's doing the right thing, I think. People have a go at Ole for everything. We're not scoring enough goals. We're not scoring enough goals. The midfield isn't good enough. So we've tried to bypass that by playing down the wings with these wing backs. And I think that's been more successful. We saw against Liverpool that pressing style is actually working. Uh, we saw tonight. We've won a game away from home. Like the, the atmosphere tonight was incredible. Those away, well, those home fans were, were brilliant. It's hard to play in any stadium like that. We saw against Rochdale how hard it is just to win an away game. Like, I don't think we can be too critical. I think I'm going to cry, Joe. <laughs> Williams should get we game saw game. against Rochdale how hard it is. Rochdale are hard to beat, be honest. <laughs> Shit. This, for this team, we struggle to beat anyone. I've said it so many times. The, the that is true, though. That's why I was more happy yeah. with the first half performance because we yeah. actually created we chances. Actually good. McTominay at the back post should have scored that goal. What four yards out, missing missing headers at the back post. We saw Lingard hitting the post despite you know what was not a great performance from him. But the thing the thing that you can't do is compare each game to Ferguson's Man United. You have to compare it to the last game where we've been since the start of the season. Like this is a step in the right direction. The Liverpool game was a step in the right direction. We made a few chances. We dropped back in the second half because this team is scared. It's a young team that doesn't have much confidence. When the, when the opposition starts getting the ball, we get nervous. Like, it takes a while to overcome these things. And I think if it is something like a, a formation change like we've seen, I don't think it matters what the catalyst is. We need to start winning games. And regardless of who's playing, what the system is, whether it seems like it's reactionary, I think we just need to get those wins. And that's what we've done. Norwich next, you worried or excited? 
I think we've got well, we've got four away games in ten days, haven't we? Well, so three left now. Three left. So we had four away games in. We've 10 got days. Norwich, Chelsea, Bournemouth. And I think that if if we'd have started this run, which was clearly going to be a tricky run with our form, with a, a, a loss or another, we have got the non the monkey off our back now. Exactly, we? we've got the monkey off our back. Like this is the start of hopefully. We said we hope that Liverpool performance is the start of good results. We've won again tonight. This needs to be us pushing on now. And if we can win two of those, three, maybe win two, draw one, draw at Chelsea, win the other two, I think it, it definitely sets us in good stead for those games. Like It's such a confidence thing at the moment and United have got no confidence. Winning this game tonight will set us up for what will hopefully be a win against Norwich. Lovely. Cheers, Joel. Make sure you check out Stretford Paddock. Links in the description. See you in a bit.